a lot of people have been saying, James, I see you're smiling. You, you seem excited about life. Um, a lot of people want to know, how are you healing from your past trauma? And I want to start by saying forgiveness. Um, whether it's forgiving the ones who caused you pain, who hurt you, who who caused the trauma in your life. It starts by forgiving those people. Not for them, but for you so you can move on. Um, also starts with forgiving yourself for whatever part that you played in, you know, your past trauma. Um, putting yourself in mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes, you guys. I made so many bad mistakes in my past that just caused so much trauma. Um, so it all starts with forgiveness, man. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is key. Um, I would have never thought. I would have never thought. This is this is speaking from James from a year ago. I would have never thought that I can forgive the people who hurt me, you know, whether it was childhood trauma from molestation, whether any, I forgave, I forgave, um, whatever pain that I was going through as a kid, I, you know, in my adulthood, I decided to just give it up and I'm not here to be religious or throw any religion in no one's faces. Believe what you believe in. Uh, that's, I, I'm, I'm not here to judge anybody. Um, but I, I just decided to give all my stress and my pain to God. Um, and I felt that weight leave, man. Once I just let go and let God. Um, another thing, man. Um, through this journey, man. It has not been easy. It has not been easy, you know, healing. Because, you know, once you start to forgive... You know, you know, suddenly some doubt start to creep back in your mind. Like, oh, man, it's some situations that it's just, I don't know if I can, you know, let go. Right. Like, for instance, like for the, the guys who um, murdered my uncle in front of me. Um, I have not fully gotten over that. Um, that is that is hard for me. It's going to be hard for me to forgive that person who did that to my uncle because he showed no remorse. He's still using his phone in jail, you know, and laughing about what he did. So it's situations like that. That is very hard for me to say, man, ah. you know, I'm trying to get over my uncle's death. I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to forgive. I'm trying to heal from that. It's taking time, man. But I feel like, you know, once I, you know, forgive that person I'm all good not all good but <sighs> but forgiveness man I'm getting there I'm getting there I'm getting there I can say that I am definitely getting there um, I do things like this um, hang out over here um, nature is something that brings me peace um, Find something in your life that brings you comfort. Find something in your life that is fun. And you're going to start to feel that shift. You're going to start forgetting about all that pain and that trauma that you were going through. You know, once you found find something, like, peaceful. Um, I could say, man, I haven't felt peace like this ever in my life. I didn't even know that a such thing as peace existed, man. Coming from where I come from, I didn't think it existed, man. But peace is out there. All right. And once you find it, man, another another thing um, that's going to help you heal. Um, <sighs> man, I was having this conversation with somebody a couple of days ago. Um, you know, they were telling me about how I motivate them to, you know, get better in life or to heal. And I was just telling that person, just like I would tell you guys, 
Um, the same thing I'm telling you right now, telling them to forgive themselves, forgive the people who hurt them, um, find something positive. You know, start looking for the positive things in life, man. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I grew, I like, I lived a life of being like, how do you say, like pest, pessimistic, pept, pessimistic. I just see negativity and freaking everything. Everything was negative. I was a negative person, man. I brought negative energy. So that wasn't helping me. That wasn't helping me heal. But I can tell you guys, like for the first time in my life, and I'm not just talking. This is not just for a video. This is real life. I mentally am in the best place ever, man. The best place I've ever been in. And you can see it with my, my work ethic now, you know, with the, the daily uploads. Uh, because it was times when I was doing videos and I'm like, I don't feel like doing this. Um, I, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like doing this, man. Because I was still going through things. But you can see that I'm active. Um, <sighs> I'm just sitting here listening to the insects, the crickets, birds, the trees and leaves. I'm listening to everything around me. I'm taking it all in and I feel amazing. Like my ears are finally, like I can finally hear again. I can finally see again. For so long, it's like you can see nothing but darkness, but man, with this healing process, one of the greatest feelings ever, man. So I am encouraging whoever watching this video, do everything you can to heal. Don't sit in your pain. Don't sit in your trauma. Don't, don't, don't sit in it. Don't be comfortable with being depressed don't be comfortable with you know being or having anxiety don't be comfortable that was my biggest problem i'm like man depression and anxiety was my comfort zone. like i know that don't make any sense it might not make any sense but it's some people who like to be depressed it's some people who like to have anxiety. i'm not saying i'm one of those people but i'm saying like i always seen the negative and everything Start looking at the positive things in life, man. Start looking at the positive things. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm truly, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. And I believe that in my heart, I am blessed and highly favored because I could have lost my life so many times. You know, starting from the age of two, I was hit by a car. Um, was told that I was going to be brain dead. Um, I was told that I will never be able to walk again. I've had past things in my past life, whether it was someone trying to kill me. Um, so many things could have went wrong, car accidents, everything, but I always survived. And I'm here for a reason. Um, so just think about that for a second. You could have been anywhere in life. You know, a lot of us waste our time being sad and depressed and miserable when there's so much life out there to live. And it doesn't matter what age you are. You know, happiness, fun, peace has no age, has no age limit. You can be 150 years old living in peace my um, great grandmother, um, she passed when she was, I believe, 95, 96. But she was so much at peace. You know, she used to joke, laugh, we would laugh. And this is a 90 some year old woman, man. We just, this is my great grandma. And she was hilarious. Um, even when she had, um, she had a stroke and couldn't even talk because her tongue was out of her mouth. It was so swollen, but she still seen the positive in life until the day she passed. 
all the things that she's been through in her past, everything she suffered with, she's seen the good in life. Um, and that's the message I want to send. That is how I'm healing. That is how I'm healing. Um, man, to anybody out there, I love you guys. Um, stay strong. And um, pain is only temporary. Feelings are temporary. How are you feeling now? Temporary. You got this. I love you.